got to know the owner of this truck stop, Bobby Perkstressler. He wanted to have medical care here for two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, as a something he offered for the truck drivers, but also because he's from this area, he knew they didn't have a physician here, and he wanted a, a medical office here. You think cattle price is going to hold? For and, a and, and, it, and also, I relate. They, I can relate to them how frustrating their job is when they're so weather dependent. There's so many unpredictabilities in farming. How'd that happen? What rope? No. I got my hand caught in between the boards. His wife and a group of other women there um, made a quilt for me, a quilt of valor for me, and presented it to me after Veterans Day. That was a really touching thing. Yeah, yeah not during the actual. Yeah, yeah. I, I was injured. It was two days afterwards. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I was, and um, it was what was got to be known as. Black Hawk Down, it was the Somali experience, the Mogadishu operation, um, to get General a, a deed. Uh, so I guess all your drinks are as well. Thank you. Thank you. I met him in 85 in the uh, Special Forces Command out of Fort Bragg, and he's been treating me ever since. Myself, maybe one or two others, I can't remember everyone. And then about that time, Sergeant Matt Ryerson, one of the senior squadron sergeants, comes up and stands and we're talking and then a mortar round. And that's stronger than that thing? Rob coming so from the country and being who he is and you know, humble experience in the military. My experience with him is that he's genuinely concerned. He's a genuine, it's a wholehearted southern gentleman style about him that um, isn't, you don't see it a lot in doctors these days. I think it's a lot easier to talk to him because you know, not only you're talking to your doctor but you're kind of talking to your friend too. <laughs> My church here, my local church here in Middlebrook, mm -hmm. they had a 24-hour prayer vigil for me, mm -hmm. and I turned the corner. Mm -hmm. Now, you can take it as you want to. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I wasn't doing well. I was going down the tubes. They had a 24-hour prayer vigil for me. I survived. So, and, I, and that was another reason to say, hey, where am I going to go back to practice? You know, these people saved my life. I'm going to come back. Hey, Betty. How are you doing? Betty's one of my neighbors. And we go to church together, so we have connections in other ways than that. And as I say, you know, when you're in family medicine, you know people. You know, Separates I, us I in rural medicine daughter. from other doctors are we take responsibility for our patient's care. Mm -hmm. And that is, I will send somebody else, obviously, out to specialist, but I make sure it's somebody I really have a her, lot of confidence in. Her niece and my wife started nursing together at King Stars Hospital. Did they really? Yeah. Um, uh, I think confident. the problem with medical care now that is that doctors, there isn't a single doctor who, who has the overall responsibility for that person's health care. I, I let Adam and Doug put the lights up. Oh, too. They're okay. Pretty good. They look nice. Yeah. Betty, and, and one and of her my... husband and I have competition in Newport who has the most Christmas lights. <laughs> he does well. <laughs> you do too. <laughs> yeah. they, that person goes to urgent care for their sore throat. They go see the orthopedic surgeon for their sprained ankle. If they go see a doctor's physical group, they see a different doctor every time because there's seven doctors in there. Three weeks just for a free blood pressure check. Okay. Just to see if the mess right. is working. Those of us in rural area, we, we are the ones. So we're the ones who are overall, we have that responsibility of care for that individual. What are we going to hit next? 